Hello, and welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to prepare your own slides using the materials provided in the kit. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to mount dry samples, such as leaves, insects, and hair, and wet samples, such as pond water or saline solution. In order to follow along, you'll need the cutout slides, which are provided <coughs> in the stencil cutout, and you'll also need one of the sheets of transparent stickers. Alternatively, you can make your own slide using thick paper or cardstock, and you can use three-quarter inch transparent tape, uh, cellophane tape, as a replacement for the cover slips if you run out. You'll also will need uh, a folded fold scope to be able to view your slides after you've made them. An important part of microscopy is preparing your own slides. The fold scope uh, accepts standard glass slides. However, if those aren't an option, you can also make your own paper slides. Uh, in this step, I've cut out three paper slides from the cutout sheet and we'll use it to prepare our sample. Now, the first step is to take one of these slides and apply one of the stickers as a cover slip. Now, we can peel off the slide, uh, sorry, the sticker, and we can place it over the hole. And make sure that it sticks all around the hole and that it's centered. Alternatively, if you've run out of stickers, you can also use three quarter inch transparent tape and cut a piece of this and place it over. Now after we've done this, we can flip this over so that it's sticky side up. Now we need to place a sample on this. So in this step, we're going to be preparing a dry sample. Dry samples can be anything from uh, blades of grass to strands of hair to insects or anything that isn't liquid. I've chosen to prepare a leaf. So the leaf itself is too thick to see under the microscope, so we need to cut a, th cut a thin strip or a thin piece so that light will be able to pass through it. Um, we can do this in a couple different ways. One is to take an X-Acto knife and cut a thin piece of it off, and then to take a pair of tweezers and put this piece on the slide. Once we've done this, then we can take another cover slip and place it on top to seal it. We can then gently press down and the slide is ready to go. An alternative method is to take a piece of tape and cut this and to wrap it around the leaf so that it's on both sides. We can then press as hard as we can with our thumbs to stick the tape to the leaf and then when we pull apart a bit of the leaf stays behind with it and we can mount this on a slide and be able to view a thin layer of the leaf and maybe even see cells. Okay, now with our original sample, we can insert this into the slide by stacking it on top of two empty slides. This makes it thick enough and rigid enough to be viewable in our fold scope. Then we insert it the same way we insert a glass slide. It needs to go in through this hole and make sure you get all three pieces through. Uh, make sure it doesn't get caught on the lens and then insert it through the slit at the top. And there we go. It's ready to view.
Preparing a wet sample is very similar to preparing a dry sample. We'll start off by applying one of the stickers as a cover slip. So I'm going to peel off one of the stickers and place it over the hole. Now it's very important in this step to make sure you form a firm seal around the hole so that no liquid leaks out. And then we're going to flip it up so that it's sticky side face up. Now I have a cup filled with pond water from outside and a dropper. So you can take one drop and place it in the center of the slide. And then we can take another one of our stickers and place it on top. This should spread out the drop of water and create a seal that contains the liquid. Now we can take a paper towel and clean off any liquid that may have leaked outside. And there we have it, our slide. So same as before, we can insert it by stacking it on top of two blank slides and then inserting this into our folds cup. So thank you for watching this tutorial on making your own slides. Make sure to watch our next video which shows you how to use the magnetic couplers to take images with your phone and to use your fold scope for projection.